Good morning, YouTube. All right, let's do something a little bit different. Let's make a skillet full of the best braised cabbage you have ever had. Rich, hearty, delicious, and bright with flavor. Mmm, this stuff is phenomenal. All right, let's cook, y'all. We got a family to feed. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our cabbage ready and get our pan to preheat. All right, we are ready to do our braised cabbage. I'm actually gonna set our cabbage over here for just a minute. I've gotta get reorganized, there we go. All right, so I've got about a tablespoon of olive oil heating over medium heat right here. There we go, there we go. We're gonna get, let that get nice and hot while we're doing this little method over here. And in this little woohoo, I have a quarter cup of tomato paste. This is the um, extra concentrated tomato paste. That is two teaspoons of black pepper, a teaspoon of kosher salt, one half of a teaspoon of celery seed, half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flake, and about a teaspoon of fennel seed. We are going to mix all this up. Perfect. There we go. All right, now that we've got some heat, let's see if this is warm enough or hot enough yet. So we've got our cabbage that still has the core, this will help keep it together while we're cooking it. Yeah, you hear that? You want some sizzle, all right? So all we're doing at this stage is we're gonna brown these on both sides and we're gonna get a lot of color on them. So this takes a little bit of, a, of, of patience, but not too much. This is easy stuff. All right, so our cabbage has been nicely browned, and actually, I'm kind of in a hurry. Um, imagine that. <laughs> kind of in a hurry, so um, you could take that darker if you wanted to sit here and fiddle with it. It was about 15 minutes all in to brown everything. I don't want to sit here and fiddle with it. All right, so I added a little more oil to our skillet, and we're gonna brown the tomato paste. And I have all those beautiful seasonings in there. And here we go. I think cabbage and tomato is magic. I love cabbage rolls. I made a, even made a deconstructed cabbage roll um, and I did it with a, um, in a casserole. Oh, I love that so much. Oh, it's so delicious. All right, so the trick is you wanna get this as dark as you can take it and get that cooked and those seasonings developing and it will become nice and mellow and to this we're gonna add I like garlic we love we don't think there can be enough garlic so I've got about six cloves of garlic if you're sensitive to it use one whatever wherever you fall on that range of garlic use that okay we like a lot you don't have to use what you like now there here we go and yeah sometimes I cheat and I buy the bottled garlic I'm not apologizing for that. <laughs> I don't apologize for a lot these days. All right, so this is just gonna go for a few minutes. We're gonna keep an eye on it. Don't walk away from this, because it will scorch, and then there's no bringing it back once you've scorched tomato or garlic. It's ruined. So here we go. This is just gonna take a few minutes. We're gonna let it cook and come together, and we are almost ready for the oven. Here we go. You can really smell this. The fennel is phenomenal. You can kind of get a hint of that celery seed and smell the garlic. It is absolutely divine. All right, 
So we're adding water. We're gonna use, uh, I don't know, two cups of water. Because our cabbage is gonna go back in here and we're gonna braise everything in the oven. So we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and stir that in because you're making this beautiful tomato broth. And then this is gonna go in the oven and everything's gonna kind of reduce a bit and caramelize. It's just gonna be beautiful. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna get our tomato, or no, what is this? This is cabbage. <laughs> and we're gonna get everything back in our skillet. Let's see. I will say keeping the core in the cabbage makes it a little easier to deal with. You can kind of keep your pieces more whole. I won't say completely whole, but more whole. Except for that one, that one fell apart. Of course, because I was talking about it. never fails as soon as I'm trying to show you how to do something which way is up that way <laughs> couldn't remember what my direction was fancy that <laughs> now that braising liquid can you see it's getting in between all those beautiful leaves those flavors are going to be divine. All right, we're gonna give this a little salt. We got one that's just backwards, of course. Close enough, there we go. We're gonna give it a little salt and a little taste. So, we've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. Y'all, that is divine. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that, we had a detour. Okay, so just a little bit. It does need some salt. The salt will also help the cabbage wilt a bit. That looks like a ton of salt. It wasn't, it was only about a teaspoon of kosher salt. Mm. All right, y'all, we're going in the oven. Well, as soon as I find an oven mitt, we're going in the oven for about 45 minutes, okay? I'll meet you back here when this is ready to go. All right, I looked a minute ago and this is so beautiful. I, had to, I didn't want it to stop before you got to see it. I don't know if you can see it bubbling, but that is stunning. And the fragrance is amazing. It's so good. Okay. Y'all, here is our braised cabbage. And check this out, get a little closer. Can you see how that has thickened up? And our cabbage has beautifully caramelized. Okay, I'm gonna sneak a little bite out of here. I'm gonna burn my mouth so much. Look at that. one last thing and I'll be right back. Dang. All right, here we go. I got so excited when, <laughs> when the timer went off. It was so beautiful and it smelled so good. I forgot. Okay, last little bit. And this is kind of just for garnish, although the flavor is just that extra little mm, fresh dill, just right over the top. Dill and cabbage, ooh, that's another level of magic right there up there with tomatoes. Okay, so there we go. That, y'all, is our perfect braised cabbage. That's just pretty, so I'm doing that for the picture. Perfect braised cabbage. It is dynamite. The flavor is stupendous. And your family's gonna love that one. Well, just eat it. Mm. 
うん